Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rule the Waves. We left off last episode, episode, I don't know why I pronounced that peculiarly, but episode, having designed and starting construction of the most ridiculous heavy cruiser I've ever seen. Uh, I also uh, have hit a dead end in their effort to figure out the concept of three centerline turrets. Okay. Um, I, I put a lot of these ships in on, into, into reserve to save money for construction. So now that we can go, we can go over here and we can resume construction of our, you know, absolute beast of a heavy cruiser. I feel like this is, um, there has been a political murder in the Balkans. Uh, that sounds familiar. Demand that the guilty party brought is brought to justice, even the risk of war. Is that just budget? Oh, that's, that's like tension, tension. Um, Diplomax is okay. <laughs> Nations stupid enough to put their fingers in the Balkans fire should realize that they'll get burned. That's a little funny. Tension up a little bit. Budget prestige down. I can't take that hit, so... I really don't want to take... A, I really don't want to go to war with England, but I don't think that'll... Okay, good. Understanding quality control. The dead end of mechanical shell handling. Alright, so I really don't want to go to war anytime soon. A straighter's under construction. Half my fleet's in reserve. Kaiser has made a foreign policy gaffe. You are asked to smooth things over by the na uh, naval secretary. I would never presume to undercut the authority of the Kaiser. Prestige and tension go up. I'm going to make a bland statement. Prestige goes down. Uh, divert attention by making a statement criticizing the adventurous foreign policy of Russia. Okay. I'll go to war with Russia any day of the week. I, I don't mind. And uh, that actually puts my... You know what we should do is build some more freaking subs. Because we already got uh, a good number of them. Yep, there goes the last bunch. Oh, I clicked too fast. Sorry about that. Uh, force of habit. Force of habit. Discovered a cell... Oh, yeah. Um, we need that technology. Uh, capped armor piercing projectiles. I will buy it. I have the money. They're well on the way understanding improved AP cap. Nice. So we just kind of skipped over there. 50,000 has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may become the focus of some... So, somebody... They just gave me $50 million. Offered to sell their rights to improved... Um, no, thanks. Ooh, 700 ton destroyers. That's actually really good. So they it wants us to build a new battleship. So. Let's. Let's throw in a design here. Displacement of 20,000 tons is what we could do. It wants us to build small ones. I don't want a small battleship. Okay. Um, I mean, if I. No, it, well, that's not what I want to do. I want this. Nope, it's not gonna. It's not gonna let me do that. Okay. So let's uh, let's do it by hand. Let's do this by hand, and we're gonna build a, a a battleship battleship, just a battleship, not the heavy cruiser battleship, the battleship battleship. I mean, there's not. I mean, it's gonna. I think this is gonna be a one-off ship. Is what this is gonna be. This is gonna be a one-off ship. We're gonna build this one, and it's not gonna have anything else. And it's, it's probably it's probably the only one we're ever gonna build of these. Gotta make sure it can keep up with the rest of the fleet. I mean, that is a give it a ridiculous secondary armament. This thing is just gonna be brisk. This this is this is going to be a. A, a absolutely I mean no nobody has any issue there's no no problem with that many turrets on this fucking thing make them nine inch guns make them bigger I don't, can we can we like quad up these it's not gonna show up on here yeah we can put those in quad turrets and there's no problem with that And can we make it long range? No. Medium range. You'll have to stay home. Oh, who wants the funk? Oh, you know who's getting the funky, the fucking funky ship? 
know who exactly who's getting it. The Sergei. This is a weird ship. It's actually not as heavily armored as some of the other ones, but I have room for more armor. Increase the belt to 10 inches. And then bring in and then fill out the rest with a couple with more projectiles. And there you go. You've got a Sergei. Jesus Christ, Sergei's a fucking weird ship. And, uh... It, <laughs> we're building both of these and not running that bad of a deficit, really, so let's just keep going. His, uh... Reduced tension between our nations. Uh... Fair words, but the policy of Russia always has and always will be a threat to world peace and stability. I want to go to war with Russia again. Improve signaling. Make signals, uh, signaling errors less likely. That's good. It means the AI will less be less in, uh, inclined to screw up. Handle quietly and discreetly. I do not want to go to war with the UK. In service. Uh, so we're just going to... We're going to hope that we can go to war with Russia... Matching control tops. Improved uh, armored penetrating cap. Gradual AP penetration improvement. Mastering improved compressed air supply. Better operating range for coastal submarines. Uh, I thought I already had that researched, but okay. We have a lot of coastal submarines. Uh, right here. We've got 12, and there's 6 more coming, so we're going to have 18 coastal submarines. That's a good deal. We're receiving much praise for building the requested number of battleships. Okay, good. To so extend our security arrangement, what would you recommend? Yes, we should extend it. Italian possession of Sardinia. Support the rebels and create trouble for Italy. Yeah. I, I mean, control top's nice. Improved compressed air supply. So our torpedoes now have a, a longer range. More than double what they were before. You were asked by a journalist comment on the visiting ships. Rust buckets. Uh, we're going to call them rust buckets is what we're going to do. Rebellion in Sardinia continues. Going to war with Italy is, is kind of fun, actually, because you can really mess them up by just dumping raiders into the Mediterranean. Nice. Crush the rebels. Boo. Russian minesweeper. Don't really care about that. Popular protest in Germany against the high naval expenditure. What? No. My yearly budget's, like, nowhere's... Let's see, can we see in here? My naval budget's half of England's. And it's still less... I mean, I'm I'm third after England and the U.S. The War Party Parliament demands immediate actions against Great Britain. An excellent idea. No. We should wait and provoke them subtly. Not ready for war. Budget up, prestige down. Our prestige is actually okay right now, so... That's, that's not a big deal. And what I would really do... To avoid war... Oh, damn it. Motherfucker. Look at that. Unexpected battle against possibly ten British battleships in the middle of the Atlantic. What do we even have out here? We have a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. God damn, I was... That's not what I wanted. Did I click on the wrong thing there? So I control both of these. Well, let's see what we're working with. I mean, there this could be potentially nothing. Here, let's do this. We're going to put you on AI control for uh, support of the Freya. So, this is not good. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at war. Oh, I didn't put you on AI control. So he's running, which probably means he's running to another fleet. Let's see what we're working with. What is this? Still can't see it. I feel like we're really close and we can't see... It was overcast, that's why. Unidentified ship opens up on the Freya. I don't even know what we're fighting. Freya's hit twice. We just... We think it's a heavy cruiser. Is all we know. Whew. 
for his hit in the hull. God damn it, I've hit, taken three hits already. It's an Andromeda. Eight eight-inch guns. Woo! So we got bigger guns, they got more guns. Speed of 22 knots. The Andromeda is hit by an eight-inch gun, by a nine-inch gun. Andromeda is hit by a six-inch gun, and I took a hit. Ooh, and they started a fire. Or a five uh, from medium. So I'm on fire right now. I did actually hit them though with a with a. a oh, I think that was a good hit too. Medium damage off two hits. I just took three more hits. Splinters perforate uptake, so I'm slowed now. God damn it, he's just pummeling me. Just doesn't miss. Here, you gotta get in here. Three more hits, another hit. God damn it. He's hit me 13 times. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, that thing never misses. Unsighted opens fire. So someone else opened that we haven't even spotted yet opened fire here. All right, that's that's the British battle fleet. So we need to turn away here. We should be able to get away in the night though. God damn it. 13 hits to my two. Yeah, those are British battleships. Should be able to lose them in the night though. Although, no, I, I no longer control that one, though. God damn it. The fire control on that British heavy cruiser was immense. Just, I only got two hits on him. He got 13. Although, I do have the older range finding system on this thing. Pretty sure. All right, so we just gotta, we're just going to escape into the night. Son of a bitch. They're definitely going to get the uh, more points in this one. Problem is, is I don't know if I can win this war. I wasn't trying to go to war with England. Could have sworn I did the one that was that had no tension on it, but I'll have to go back and watch that. I might have fucked that up. Got away, though. So, uh, light damage to me, uh, light damage to them. It's, a, it's technically a draw. Son of a bitch, that sucked. Okay, we're basically what we're going to be doing here is... All right, we got to take all these guys out of reserve. We're going to be trying to avoid direct combat with the British here. So what we're going to do is let's, let's take... Well, this should be all the primary... Yeah, no, you guys are going to go on raiding... Raider. Yes, you are all raiders now. I'm basically just going to try to raid the British into submission. Uh, Coastal Patrol, but I don't know. They might they might be really good at uh, raiding themselves. Um, so let's see. This is That was the one with the better fire control, actually. That sucks. Active Fleet, Northern Europe. Um, where could you go to harass the British? The Caribbean. So, move ships. Uh, I don't have any. Okay. Do we have to click from here? Move ships. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, heavy cruiser. You are going to move to the Caribbean. Okay. And we're going to see... We're going to go unrestricted submarine warfare. Insufficient ships in foreign stations. Really? It wants it wants more ships in foreign stations. Uh, that means we're gonna have to bite the bullet here. Foreign station. Send one of these guys out. Okay. Commission. Okay, the submarines are ready. Good. Main battery wing turrets. Our submarines sink three enemy ships. British submarine sinks one ship. 
German Raider Gazelle sinks three British ships. Two British ships. What is this? This is this the Caribbean? No, this is Northern Marianas. All right. Well, let's see what's here. Oh, they decline battle. And, ooh, this is not good. I didn't have the option to decline this one. Oh, this is not good. Oh, it's a night battle. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, it's bad. Bad. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, we're just gonna... Yeah, this is bad. Just... Uh, right in the middle. That's that's why night battles suck. You just get right into the middle of this. And I don't know who's where. I don't know what. I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> did you launch that torpedo, or did was that launched at you? Brandenburg faster than the Kowalski? Did you take a hit? No, that's okay. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Support. These guys on support. Okay, good. Screen, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Hit in the superstructure by something. Just keep firing. Hit their hit anything they got with whatever you got. I mean, these guys have powerful secondary. I made sure they had powerful secondary batteries. So they're good in a brawl. I mean, their tertiary battery is is not as impressive, but their secondary battery. I mean, hitting the heavy the heavy cruisers. Should take a, uh, a smashing for my ships. Kowalski took one hit. Kowalski from a medium gun. We sank a destroyer. I mean, that's not a big deal, but... Any... Oh, looks like there's someone else in here we can pummel as we go by. It's just another destroyer. Usk class? I mean, we're actually get, we're not doing too bad right now. We keep getting finding them in these advantageous angles, but I don't want to press my luck here. Like that. All right, we got to turn around now. Or we might we, we're risking torpedo hits here. Kowalski! Kowalski! Where are you going? Double back, double completely around. Cut off this destroyer. Kowalski is dangerously close to a destroyer right now. It that looked like a torpedo run to me, but it doesn't. I didn't take a hit. I mean, all these ships are we're we're, we're just flailing at each other in the middle of the night here. This is 1.30 in the morning. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't take a, uh, a hit. We should just get out of- we should get the fuck out of here. Get the- I- oh, that is- I cannot believe we didn't take any torpedo- I swear to god those were torpedo runs too. Jesus Christ. Stumbling on each other. At like less than a thousand meters, I don't know what the British torpedoes look like. They might not have that range. In the at one thirty in the goddamn morning. Oh, we got out of that. We got the upper hand there, actually. That I I I. That's what's funny. As I specifically said that when I was building these ships too, is you might run into an enemy destroyer destroyer flotilla at midnight and have to duke your way out of it. Oh my god. We got- we damaged a couple ships too. Oh, these are minefields, FYI. And we're going home. Woo! Okay, so, um... Light damage to a cruiser. The Glyphon or whatever it was. They had 11 battleships out there somewhere. We light damage to two destroyers and a light cruiser and two destroyers sunk. So, we got the upper hand there. 
We did get the upper hand there, surprisingly, um, in that situation. I think that we did a good job. Ten months for the straighter. I mean, it's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of war before he's ready. Enemy fleet dominates the seas around Cameroon. Oh, that's not surprising. Yeah, they're getting they're getting um, proof hoists. Submarine sink five ships, one British ship. Oh, I forgot the U.S. is in this. Interesting. Let's accept battle. This is uh, the cruiser. This is my cruisers out in um, Northeast Asia. The Simpa. All right. Well, we got a convoy up there. Whoa, 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 that stuff just popped in there, didn't it? Where's this unknown ship? Here we go. All right. This is it should be a cruiser and a light cruiser. We need to keep them away. Let's see, what's our fire? So we're, we're just... They're just inside our firing range. And they're breaking away. Okay, two light cruisers? I mean, that could be incorrect, because that's pretty... That's They're pretty far away. So we're just trying... We're going to try to drive them away. I'm very glad the United States is in on this with me. Otherwise, this would be a disaster. Oh, boy. I was not prepared for a war with, with England. I mean, I would wait peace out of it in a heartbeat. Let's just do this. Just let let's just let it run. I doubt any of us is gonna are gonna score any hits at this range. And they're gonna try to double back around. Hang on. So we're gonna cut cut up this way because they're gonna try to double back around and get to the convoy. So just get make sure we stay between us between them and the convoy. Good. Slow down. These engines must be having trouble. Oh, I can't believe our battleships didn't take any hits for British destroyers. I, even two of those destroyers looked like they were heading straight in for a torpedo barrage, too. Torpedo attack. I don't think barrage is the right word there. I got this on fast because I know we're not going to score any hits at this range. You can see all the splashes and just no hits. Are they doubling back up here trying to find the convoy? It might be. So let's head north a little bit. British possession right over there. All right, looks like that's it. Convoy got away. I mean, we might be able to get in here and actually find some of their stuff. Uh, no, battle's gonna end before we get over there. Well, I mean, that was fine. Um, our our heavy cruiser did did its it did the trick. It it prevented the British from. Yep, six surviving. So yeah, we got a we got a minor victory there. I mean, I am ha getting more points than them. I thought I already had that on unrestricted. Shiza. Caribbean, um, you're supposed to be on raiding in there. In Northern Europe, you're over here. You're good. You guys are all raiding in Northern Europe. Okay. Japan. I don't give a rat's ass about Japan. Russia's stolen technology from us. The affair has leaked to the press, and the conservative newspapers are clamoring for action. German, uh, one German submarine's been sunk. German raider sinks two British ships. Two British ships. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Look at those numbers. Decline. Decline. I'm not, I'm declining battle. I'm I'm not. Oh wow. That jump, that jumped like a motherfucker. Do I have to set this every month? Taking advantage of our naval weakness in Southeast Asia, British troops have landed, uh, invaded our possession of Northern Marianas. Ooh, three centerline turrets. I mean, we're trade disruption and raiding are some are causing hardships and food shortages in Great Britain. Good. Oh, wonderful. Fuck yeah. All right, except battle out here. So we're we're actually fucking with them. Unknown ship. There they are. Again, don't know who this is. 
Said it could possibly be a battleship. Squad Max. Light Cruiser. It's the same light cruisers from before. Problem is now is that the fucking transports are heading straight at them. Hang on, let's take a look at these two ships. What are they... What are we working with here? Oof. Eight five-inch guns. Eight five-inch guns. Okay. Eight six-inch guns. I have bigger guns than them. That's something. If I could score any hits... I mean, I desperately, desperately, desperately need better fire control on my ships these days. Oh, I hit him. Medium damage. I took a hit. Oh, they destroyed one of my turrets. It was on the it's on the unengaged side at the moment. It's an interesting hit, is what that is. I would really love these destroyers to help. It's under AI control. Yeah, I want to customize the AI control. And like you guys, you need to leave. Go the other way. You can't turn around. So they've got more guns. I've got bigger guns. A little bum they destroyed one of my turrets right off the bat. Alright, we got another hit in on there. We I wonder if we've knocked out any of their turrets now. Well that one's jammed. Gray means it'll, it, it'll come back into action. Black means it won't. And did they finally turn around? They f it looks like they finally fucking turned around. And I am trying. I am managing to keep them away from the convoy, which is good. Because I'll get a lot of points if they fail to sink any any ships. Ooh. Burst limited by coal bunker. So not bad. I'm glad I managed to get a couple hits in. They've, they've repaired most of it. I mean, I should have repaired most of my damage, too. Oh, something's broken. <laughs> I've got one destroyed turret. Not a big deal. At the moment, uh, it's on the unengaged side. And it looks like I'm slightly faster than them. Nice. Ooh, good. We slowed them down, too. I am slightly faster than these guys. I am very, I'm very much larger. All right, so they're doubling back around, going the other way now. Which means I... <gasps> Oh, hello, Penny. Hello, do you do? I don't know what she's barking at. Um, I what is my torpedo range? It's my torpedo range, but I don't think we're ever gonna get. I don't think we're gonna get a torpedo off. Is he still slow? Yeah, so I should be able to outpace them pretty good here and get into a more advantageous firing position. All right, so we both just took a hit. Not a lot of damage there. Ooh, I just took two more. Ooh, there we go. Two hits for my six-inch gun. It's a shame I can't... I mean, you have to assume damage. You could see if... You could tell if there's a fire, how fast he's going, if the guns have been knocked out, stuff like that. But other than that, you just gotta, you just gotta make an educated guess. Two hits on me, one in the engine room. That was a huge amount of damage for me. Because it's starting, it's going to slow, yeah, look at my speed. Two more hits for me. One hit front on him. Shiza. That hit to the engine room really just buggered me over. So I can't keep up with them now. Really hitting each other now. Took ten hits. Nine hits. Shame they knocked out one of those turrets so early. Turn that off. Turn this one on. That's my max firing range. Still gonna try to stay between. I'm all half half out of ammo between me and the between me and the convoy. I keep saying that between him and the convoy. Just took another hit to the superstructure. Okay, you're starting to get the damage under control. Time of day is it? It is. It's eleven. Th it's, it's early. All right. Let's just. Keep patrolling here. He damaged... That, that hit to the engine room really buggered me over. I was going to pursue them and attempt to just... I don't know. Penny's growling now. I was going to pursue them and attempt to at least destroy one of those guys. But that hit to the... I mean, I'm not going to be able to make more than 13 knots now. 
So we're just going to speed through the rest of this. Battle's over. I damaged them. He damaged me. Yeah, see, a lot of time has passed. Not getting any uh any faster. So that's as much as the damage as we're going to uh do. So medium damage to me. Medium damage, heavy damage to him. He failed to sink any ships. I sir uh, a bunch of mine survived. So I came out in ahead there. I came out ahead. Still don't understand how they're getting so much. The enemy gains 110 for blockade. So they're getting uh, 110 a day for blockading us. I'm not sure how that works. I think it's probably because I don't have enough ships active in Northern Europe. So let's see. We needed 10. Let's put these on active fleet. Here, let's do this. Let's let's put a couple of these on active fleet and see what happens. Just keep a couple on rating. Active fleet, active fleet, active fleet, active fleet. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're sinking a... Oh, okay, good. We're sinking a lot of enemy ships to the point where they're having food shortages. If we keep that up, they're going to be in dire straits. And how many... How many oh. Six more months until the straighter is finished. Sending out feelers for peace. See what the LA is willing to offer, but we will not accept we will not accept ceding any land or colonial territory. Uh, they foundered. Still sinking British ships. Estimated enemy forces in there: battleship, a cruiser, a light cruiser, and destroyers. They declined. Oh no no no. I don't have enough uh, ships in the area. They got 100 points for that. Balls. Fighting Valiant in Northern Marianas. Good. Ooh, strikes and anti-war demonstrations are rumored to be taking place in Great Britain. Explosive sweeps, anti-submarine warfare. Good. Our submarine uh, U-3 has torpedoed and damaged a British battleship. That is excellent. British submarine sunk. I feel like we're... We're doing okay here. I mean, it ke they're getting these huge amounts of points for, like, having me blockaded, which I don't understand. I think I need more ships out and about to be able to break that, but I don't, know, I don't really know how that works. Consider offering safe patches to a revolutionary of some renowned... Okay, yeah. This will uh, format revolution and may uh, force them to the negotiating table. Give him safe passage. Submarine sinks four ships, three German, three German submarines sunk. So, god damn it. They're just really racking that up, aren't they? They have been forced to accept a uh, compromise peace. Oh, we forced them into the, the peace table. Serious internal disturbances. Okay, um, ooh. Large torpedo warheads. Torpedoes do more damage. Very nice. So, we got out of that alive, is what we got. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did not want to go to war with England. I wanted to go to war with, like, Russia or fucking Italy or something like that. I did not want to go to war with England, but uh, we managed to... We didn't lose any ships. We did okay. We're going to get the straighter finished. Uh, we need to send another ship out to a foreign station, it looks like. Uh, you, one of these, actually this one, foreign station, there we go. I just want to get the straighter finished. 13-inch guns, wow. Okay, the straighter is, uh, is commissioned. Huzzah! Italy has rebuilt their battleship Roma. Okay, so here is the straighter. The straighter is a heavy cruiser. In reality, it is a battleship. God damn it, this thing is crazy. Eight 10 inch guns, 12 9 inch guns, and 24 3 inch guns. This thing is a fortress. But we are out of time, and I'm glad I got that guy up and running because I want to start poking Russia. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see all of you guys next time.